Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Alarman FJ. We're gonna take a quick look at a launcher from the Play Store called Niagara Launcher. All right, now this launcher is kind of unique. It's gonna give you a different look on your device. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, you can get this launcher from the Play Store. Here it is. Uh, it was in beta for a long time, but now it's out and you can get it. You can get a free version and a paid version. The paid version will cost you about $3, but you pay one time fee and that's it. Uh, so uh, I'll put the link in the description for you and share it with you if you wanna get it. Now here we are on the home screen of the launcher. As you can see, it's pretty unique. And that is different from your normal launchers. You got your icons, your favorites, going up and down versus across like normal uh, uh, launchers are done. You have a dock down here with four or five icons. And uh, that's where you keep your favorites at here is right on the top on the, on the uh, main screen. And you don't have another screen you can switch to. Uh, everything is here. All right, you, all your widgets and everything go right here on the screen right here. So it's pretty simple in that you don't have to worry about other screens you to, to deal with, but everything is on one screen right there. Now, if you want to go into all apps, you see these letters on the side right here on the right-hand side. That's where your all apps are. So all your apps are lined up there. You just slide down and you get to the app that you want. You can, this is pretty flexible. You can do that anywhere on the screen once you put your thumb there. Uh, but let's, let's stop on B. All the apps that start with B are going to be right there in front of you. You got your Bible, or, you know, stuff like that. Everything will start with a B. All right, and you can just tap on the app that you want, uh, you know, to get to, to go into it, all right? Now, to get to the settings, you're gonna scroll down and you'll get to your settings right here. You got your uh, launcher settings right there. You can go in there, that's what it looks like. It's not a long list of settings, but you got, if you click on features, you got more things you can do there. You can add a widget, add a shortcut, add a glance, you can check that out. And add a glance is where you go into the clock and you uh, sh you can show the clock, a dock, or the date, and percentage and all that stuff. You can toggle those on or off. Home screen notifications, you can toggle that on or off toggle that on or off as well and search you can choose the search uh, ash engine that you want and toggle it on and off uh, advanced you go in there you can list all apps by usage or you can list the most used apps uh, to set your uh, all app screen on, uh, on now if you go into home screen you can choose your home screen go back to the regular one or restart the launcher right there now notifications all of these apps can get notifications is pretty cool all right so if you look at Gmail, you can see it says dictionary.com. That means I got an email from that, that uh, source, dictionary.com. And if I slide to the right, I can see dictionary.com and what it's saying right there. I can read what it's saying. That's pretty cool. Now, the same thing with Chrome. Chrome, you got a message there. We got 17 new pins for you uh, on Chrome. You see that right there? 17 new pins. All right. You just slide to the right, and then it shows you the pins there. All right. That's pretty cool. Phone calls. You got uh, 17 missed phone calls there and uh, so on and so forth. So I like the way that works right there. And that happens, you can do that in any app in the system there. So if you go to all apps, for example, let's get to all apps, you can see like this breaking news app. You got some new new icons there, a new notification. You can read that. That's pretty cool, pretty slick. Now I've been sliding into the, own, to the all apps on this, uh, let's go back to the home. But you can, you can open up all apps and keep it up just by sliding to the right. But you can slide down to get to where you want, all right? So that's pretty functional right there. Nice and sleek. But you can leave it on and go home screen when you get done, okay? Now if you wanna add a widget, you can add widgets here. Let's go ahead and get to, go to the launcher settings. Go into favorites and let's add a widget, all right? So you got your widgets right there. Uh, let's slide, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this, uh, this uh, let's, let's not do that one. Yeah, let's use that one. Let's use this alarm clock widget. So you got three widgets you can you can load. So let's load, load this one. All right, so see it, it's right there, all right? Now you can also long press and you can, you can resize this if you want to. All right, you can make it bigger. And then you can hit this button to go back to the original size. All right, so that's pretty cool. You long press, you got some other, you can edit it, you can remove it, you know, or, or replace it. So that's pretty cool right there, all right? And everything is on one screen, okay? Now, one other thing with this launcher is you're not going to have uh, all screen gestures here. You don't use gesture mode with this. You're going to have the buttons. That will show up automatically. You cannot use the all screen gestures with this uh, with this app. Even if you go into to the regular settings and turn it on, you won't be able to do that on this screen. You can't use all screen gestures on this screen. Okay, so that was a quick look at Niagara Launcher from the Play Store. Like I said, it's a, it's a pretty slick launcher. It's unique in that it's going to give you a new look on your device and it's pretty functional as well. Uh, you can get a, a, a paid version and a free version. The paid version is about three bucks, I believe. Uh, then you got, and you pay that one time. Uh, now, uh, if you got any questions, hit them in the comments. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for more videos like this. This is Lawman FJ, out.